we heard four presentations about uh, the issue of obesity and future cardiovascular risk. And these presentations focus the question whether we talk about a paradox or a given and established risk factor uh, correlation simply measured by body weight. And the overall message is that the measurement of body weight in calculating a simple index like the body mass index is enough, not enough to describe the individual future cardiovascular risk. And the reason for that is that, first of all, we know that even when you consider body mass index, you have a U-shaped relation. That means if you are morbid obese or if you are underweight, there is an increase in future cardiovascular risk. But in between, between 20 and let's say 30 or 35, there is a very flat function. And this is the range where the majority of people are located. And the question always is, should we advise them to keep their body weight? to lose their body weight or how should we classify them with regard to their future risk. And it was very interesting to see that, first of all, uh, in the range between 20 and 27, the Japanese study found that those on the lowest quartile in the range of 20 had the worst prognosis and those on the highest body weight quartile, namely 27, had the best prognosis, which is pretty much in line with the so-called obesity paradox. Finally, we have heard in the last presentation from Began Tofte that it makes a big difference whether we talk about people with manifest cardiovascular disease or whether we talk about general population without otherwise risk factors. And it seems to be that the, let's say, the prognostic impact of obesity in manifest diseased, cardiovascular disease people is completely different from otherwise healthy people. And was, this was nicely shown with this trial from Gentoff to showing that it seems to be that in an otherwise healthy population, obesity per se is not the predictor of risk, it is the obesity-related metabolic phenotype. And the phenotype seems to more or less determine the future risk. So the overall message again is if you want to rely on the question, what is my future cardiovascular risk? It is not as easy to just measure your body weight. It is a very complex situation which consists of body weight, consists of risk factors, of comorbidity, and of course the genetic background which we are in the moment, or which is in the moment hard to measure. We have a new release of the ESC guideline for diabetes and uh, prediabetes. Uh, saying that it seems to be wise in the moment to keep the body weight stable at any given patient class. And if you want to advise the patient to lose body weight, it should be done on an individualized and carefully selected basis. So uh, it is not as easy to say if you have an overweight patient, lose weight and you improve your prognosis. And this has certainly strong impact on the interpretation of what, let's say, bariatric or other intervention could provide to the patients in terms of prognosis. In the moment we are just more or less left with the observational data and here I think the new ESC guidelines is a fair compromise.